Valley News Live at 6, I'm Stacey Van Dyke. And I'm Justin Betty. The verdict is in today in a murder case that had the whole region's attention. A West Fargo man found guilty of murder in the death of his wife. The jury spent less than one day deliberating before convicting Spencer Moen. Valley News team's Bobby Fallon has covered the entire trial. He joins us live now in studio with more. Bobby. Stacy, Justin, it was very quiet in the courtroom this morning as we learned of Spencer Moen's fate. After the verdict was read, there were immediately tears and hugs on the Sonia Moen side, especially with how sensitive things have gone throughout this past week. We, the jury, duly impaneled and sworn in the above entitled action, do find the defendant, Spencer J. Moan, guilty of the crime of murder. 32-year-old Spencer Moan learned his fate following the events of August of last year, where he beat his wife, Sonia Moan, to death in their West Fargo home. Prosecutors say while they are grateful for the verdict, the healing process for the Moan family now begins. There are no winners. We have three children who have lost a mom. Um, their dad has now been convicted. And um, we just think about the kids and what they've been through. Um, so nobody wins. It's the, it's the right result. It's the just result. But there are no winners. Prosecutors also say that it was especially difficult having to have the kids testify against Spencer. I have never called children that young to the stand. I have two kids myself. And um, I am very aware of um, the, the drawbacks of calling children to the stand. It's not something that we took lightly at all. From the standpoint of evidence, prosecutors say that photos, videos, and the witnesses called all held a piece of the puzzle for a conviction. We did have to show some graphic photographs, autopsy photos. Um, there was the video of the victim um, as she was dying in the bathtub and uh, those are very difficult to see and watch and, and we're sensitive to that as we're preparing for trial but yet those are things we have to show. Now, Justin Stacey, while a sentencing date has not been set yet, prosecutors say that they will now speak with Sonia Moen's family and get their input for a sentencing recommendation. But they are also looking at the severity of the crime, which the prosecution quoted as horrendous. While Sonia Moen's family declined to comment on camera today, some family did say that they plan on releasing a statement on the verdict. We're waiting for that. We did reach out today to Spencer Moen for comment as well. He declined to talk to us.